Good morning, my darlings, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kaylee, and this is my lifestyle channel centered around living your life with chronic and mental illness. Today has gotten off to a pretty rough start. Um, so my borderline is acting up, which is never a good thing. I'm feeling very tense, very stressed out, very on edge. Um, and yeah, it's just not been a good day. Um, but I'm just trying to take it easy and really focus on myself and my self care and relaxing and also kind of staying away from everyone else until I can get my anger under control because I do feel that rage kind of boiling right at the surface. Um, so I'm very easily could be triggered today. It's just one of those days where my borderline is acting up. So I'm doing my best to kind of keep myself separate. This morning, I basically finished editing up uh, last week's vlog and I'm in the process of rendering it right now and uploading it for all of you guys. Tonight, Blue does have training, which I'm excited about. My husband was supposed to be coming with us like he did two weeks ago, but since it's supposed to rain the rest of the week, he has to stay home to continue cutting down the trees that had fallen. Uh, so my mom's gonna be taking me, but I am still excited about training, um, especially because it's been two weeks and Blue's doing really good. So I'm excited to see what progress he makes tonight. But right now, I think today is one of those days where I just wanna blare music. Uh, I'll probably do my makeup, do my hair. That always helps to get me out of those dark places. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take it easy today. It's one of those bad mental health days and throughout therapy, I'm learning more and more how to handle those days in a way that is not detrimental to both my health and health and happiness of my husband and my grandma, the people who I live with. So that is the plan and I will catch up with all of you guys in a little while. <laughs> Hello guys, so I'm feeling better than I was this morning. As you can see, I did my makeup and kind of put my hair up. Uh, this is the fa my favorite way to wear my hair and the two little uh, half up pigtails and then a bow is always like my favorite accessory. So I'm definitely feeling better after doing that. Listening to music and doing my makeup is one of the best ways to help me like relax and to cheer up especially when my mental health is acting up so i did that and then i recorded a couple tiktoks i'm trying to actually get more active with tiktok i record a lot of videos but i don't post a lot but i posted i think three today uh so i'll include my tiktok name down below it's just at chronically kaylee just like my instagram so if you want to check those out you can um, I have about an hour until Blue's training, so I'm just gonna take it easy till then. It's really hot, so I'm gonna go in the other room and chill out in the AC. But I just wanted to do a quick check-in with all of you guys. Hey guys, real quick, I forgot to show this off um, in the last vlog, and I mentioned in my first vlog I was gonna show you guys. So this is the little cross-stitched uh, plastic canvas dragon charm I had made, and it is so freaking cute. Look at that thing. It is so cute. I'm going to be wearing it for the first time out tonight. Um, right now, I only have one of the little necklace charms on it, but I might add two. I don't know. I have to see how it fits, how it like uh, lays on my neck. But I just wanted to show you that because I had mentioned it and I forgot to show you. I'm hoping to be making a lot of these soon and maybe even opening my own Etsy shop in the future. So keep an eye out for that. <laughs>
I think I got that on video. I'm just taking photos, go. I know he picks up his leash and gives it to me all the time. Well, it went down underneath him before, so he probably was like... You know, and he's not scared of Not usually. It gave up underneath him, so... <laughs> See, he's waiting for that end to fall again. No. He says, I'm sitting, I'm sitting. I'll take those snacks.
The giant dog bed is elevated. Kaylee, the giant dog bed is very elevated. Your big bean bag, that became a giant dog bed. Or the chihuahua. <laughs> She's walking in circles. She's walking in circles. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna fall over. He also has to watch where he's walking. <laughs> I got it on video. I got both of his embarrassing moments on video today.
are done with Blue's training. It went so well today. Um, my mom recorded a bunch of clips, the clips that you saw before this, so he did so good. We started learning some different skills and working a lot under distractions. Um, we worked on some heel, and yeah, he just did very, very well. We found out that he loves liver, so as long as it doesn't upset his stomach, I'm gonna be getting him some liver treats, but he did so good. There he is. Blue, can you look at the camera? Here he is, he's such a good boy. I'm so, so proud of his progress today. Um, every week he surprises me, or I shouldn't say surprises me, every week he just brings me so much joy, makes me so proud of him, and gives me more and more confidence that, you know, we're going to make it as a service dog team. So right now I am in the uh, parking lot of BJ's because my mom's just running in to grab a couple things. And then we're gonna go get some Arby's for dinner and we'll be heading home. I'm exhausted. Actually, about five minutes before the training session, so five minutes before we got to Petco, I started feeling super nauseous. And I got worried because I didn't think I was going to be able to participate in his training. I actually told our trainer that like my mom was probably gonna have to do a lot of the hands on stuff because in that moment I was so nauseous and I thought I was gonna vomit. Um, and when you have a mask over your mouth, you know, it makes it a little bit harder, but thankfully the nausea kind of dissipated um, and I was able to participate and be active in his training, which you saw. So I'm really tired. I just wanna get home. I wanna eat something. Um, so I'm hoping my mom doesn't take too long in BJ's cause I also hate just sitting in the car by myself. Even though I have Blue with me, it's just my anxiety is acting up just a little bit. So I'm hoping she is not going to be long. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. Um, I wanted to come on here quick and just tell you guys something because uh, something pretty scary happened this morning with my health. Um, something that I've been worried about happening for a while now. So I wanted to talk about it because this channel is about living with chronic and mental illness. And my vlogs especially are about showing what it's like to live with uh, illnesses. So basically, um, for the past couple years now, every now and then, uh, without warning, my legs tend to give out on me. And when I say give out, I mean totally stop supporting my body. I fall right to the ground. Um, it's happened a few times. Um, I could just be walking and next thing you know, I'm on the ground and everyone's like, oh my God, are you okay? And it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Um, it has happened on the stairs at college. Uh, yeah, it's, it's happened quite a few times before. In my grandmother's house where we live, she the staircase to get upstairs is not a normal staircase. It's very steep. And um, we nicknamed them the death stairs because that's how bad they are. I cannot wait till we, we get them changed um, when we do renovations. So they're really steep. And I've always been scared that my legs were gonna give out on those stairs. Uh, this morning, I'm in a lot of pain. Uh, every inch of my body is in a lot of pain and it's that really nagging burning pain that uh, is just very hard to deal with. My husband was helping me with the dogs. Um, he had given me the leash for Blue to bring him back upstairs since he was going to go get a drink. As he gave me the leash and I went to take a step up, I kind of felt that wobbly feeling in my legs and I grabbed the banister and I took another step and sure enough, my legs gave out on me. Um, I was able to fall backwards instead of forward so I didn't get hurt. I was able to uh, fall backwards and kind of have my butt out so I went right into the corner of the stairs. And I just kind of sat there. Uh, my husband heard me so he turned around. Um, he thought Blue had knocked me down or something. He didn't know what happened. And I was like, no, no, my, my legs gave out. Um, he tried to lift me up and 
it was no use. I had no strength in my legs for a couple seconds. Um, he stood me up, I went right back down. My legs were not supporting me. Uh, after about a minute, I would say he tried again and this time I had some strength. It felt like my legs were like 10 ton cinder blocks, but I was able with his support to get up the stairs and then I just laid down on the bed. Um, the pain started to get worse in my legs at that point and my husband had to kind of rub them to help that burning go away just a little bit. Um, after a while, I was able to get up and move, but my legs still feel very heavy. I can walk now, but not well. It's kind of wobbly, almost like a newborn deer. Uh, again, this is has happened before. It's scary because... I don't know when it's gonna happen. It has happened before when I've been home by myself and when that's happened, I've had to crawl across the room to prop myself up on something. It was one of the biggest reasons why we had discussed getting a service dog. Unfortunately, at this time, Blue is still a puppy. He's still training. He's still, we haven't really gotten into those tasks yet. Um, he can't even help with mobility work until two years. So it's very scary to have something like that. And it's even scarier when no doctor can tell you why, or they kind of just dismiss it as nothing. Um, I am seeing a new rheumatologist on Tuesday and I'm just praying not for answers. I know I'm not going to get answers on Tuesday, but for just someone to listen to me and really understand because it's, it's terrifying to all of a sudden have no mobility for your legs to just completely give out on you and you can't do anything. You don't know when it's gonna happen and it can happen in a very dangerous situation, which today could have been. If I was even a couple more steps up and that had happened, I would have hurt myself because falling back, I wouldn't have just gone into the little cove of the corner of the stairs. I would have hurt myself. It's terrifying and I just wanted to come on here and talk about it because it was something that was very scary and I just want to be very honest with this channel. But that's what happened. I am originally was going to be getting some cleaning done today, but I'm going to be just taking the day to just rest. I'm going to go in the other room. I'm going to cross stitch some. I worked on a little plastic canvas popsicle that I'll show you guys in a little bit, but I'm just going to take it easy and rest. I'm not feeling that good anyway. Last night I had a nausea episode shortly after getting home and I went to sleep with my stomach hurting really, really bad. So I'm just not feeling good. I'm in a flare up and everything this morning has just really shook me up. Um, I'm trying to just breathe and know it's okay. It just hasn't happened in a while. The last time my legs gave out on me was back in February. Um, so it just hasn't happened in a few months. So I wasn't expecting it even being in so much pain i wasn't expecting it but i just wanted to let you guys all know uh what happened this morning hey everybody i'm still not feeling 100 percent, but um i've just been taking it easy and i finished up my latest charm so i wanted to show it to you guys so i created this last night um, and then i did the back stitching uh this morning so i just wanted to show this to you so it is a little firecracker popsicle with a little bow and eyes and a mouth and little blushes um i thought it was really cute it's perfect like summer charm i really like it. it's so adorable um i really enjoy making these charms it's definitely something that's a lot of fun i'll probably make another one today i'm not sure what uh what kind yet but Yep, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Hello everybody, it is the next day. I apologize that there wasn't really any footage from last night. Um, I was just really busy. We went over to my in-laws for dinner. Um, we ordered some Chinese food and then we played D&D &D, and D&D &D actually went really well. Even though I still wasn't feeling 100%, I was in pretty good spirits and I was able to think a little bit clearer. So we we're finally able to jump into a battle that we've kind of been preparing for for the past couple sessions. And we were able to kill two of the uh, major players that um, was our mission to do. So we had to kill the prince and princess of this town and we were able to finally do that. So it was a really good session. Uh, no arguments or anything, a lot of loudness, <laughs> but we all got along. So it was a really fun night. Um, this morning, 
I had my eye doctor appointment, which actually went really well. So I have to go every year for additional eye testing. Um, basically they do a field of vision test. So I have to sit in front of this machine with a clicker and they cover one of my eyes and then I have to click every time I see a dot. Um, I hate this test just because it's long. Each eye is about six minutes. Um, so basically how I got through the test today was as I was clicking, I was singing Hamilton in my head um, and it worked. It kept me calm. Uh, one of the other times I've done this test, I've actually passed out. So I was really nervous and I didn't want to pass out. So that test went fine, thanks to Hamilton. And then they just took um, pictures of my eyes and thankfully everything is normal. They are always looking for one specific thing that is um, not common, but can happen when you're on Plaquenil for a long time. And that's the medicine I take for my lupus. So my eye doctor is always making sure that I don't, I'm not showing any of those signs. And thankfully I'm not. So my eyes are in really good shape besides for my horrible eyesight, um, which is really good. It's weird getting good news from a doctor, but it's really good. So I'm feeling better about that. And my eye doctor could not take me serious though, cause I had my puppy dog mask on. So she was just like, I can't even take you seriously. But overall the appointment went well. When I got home, I had a little bit of time. Um, my mom helped me figure out where to start my grandmother's cross stitch. So I finally decided on a pattern to do for her birthday. Originally, I was going to do a carousel horse pattern, but um, I decided to change and do something a little bit more simpler, but still just as beautiful. And I think my grandma's really gonna love it. So I'm definitely gonna be working on that today. And then at 1.30, I had a phone therapy session. It went so good. Um, I say every time I have a session, but I really do love my therapist and she just finds what I'm doing here on this channel really inspiring and motivational and having her support and her belief in me that, you know, I don't know what the future holds, but that maybe one day I could help people on a more larger scale and that my story will be told is just very inspirational for me and really provides me with a lot of hope and optimism which i haven't been optimistic about following my dreams or achieving my dreams i guess i should say in a long long time i think when you you get sick in a way you kind of give up those dreams and i'm not giving up on my dream i you know when i was 16 years old crying, sitting on the bathroom floor hysterical and telling myself, I'm gonna be someone one day, I'm going to make it, I'm gonna prove everybody wrong. That was a promise I made. And now here at 24 years old, I am taking the steps into hopefully making that promise come true. So my session today was just, just perfect. It was exactly what I needed. Right now I'm going to edit some more vlog footage and probably get some chips and dip to eat for a snack. And we'll see where the rest of the day goes. I know I'll definitely be working on the cross stitch, um, but I think besides for that, we're going to have just an easy night. I am in a decent amount of pain. I'm in good spirits, but my body still hurts. Just because I'm smiling, just because I'm happy, doesn't mean I'm not in pain. It just means it's not unbearable. Um, so I am still in pain, so I'm definitely gonna take it easy today, but I just wanted to check in with all of you guys because it's been a while since I did. And yeah i will keep you guys all updated uh if anything else interesting happens tonight and uh that's all i wanted to say here hello guys i know it's been a few days since i last uh recorded any footage and that's because i've had a couple of rough days uh friday i was in a really bad flare-up i was basically stuck on the futon all day um i got the video up for all of you guys and then i just took it easy i was able to complete my latest um plastic canvas charm so i want to give you guys a little bit closer look at this because this is the latest charm i did and if you notice it's a little bit different than my other charms so with this charm I whip stitch the edges so you don't see the plastic canvas unlike my past charms where you could see the clear canvas on the ends and then I also sewed the felt on the back with this one instead of um, hot gluing like I normally do so I worked on that and I I think I'm going to be doing these charms a lot more and hopefully starting a business with them and I actually got my very first 
crafting order. So um, my sister-in-law's fiance, his sister saw me post the charms on my Facebook and she reached out to me and asked if I would make um, unicorn charms for her daughter and her daughter's best friend. So once I was feeling a little bit better on Friday, I went on my the program that my husband and I have called PC Stitch and I created a unicorn charm pattern. Um, and then I created like a mock-up charm that night to make sure it all worked out and it did. So then on Saturday, I went out with my mom to Michael's and I just picked up the floss colors I needed. I'm going to show you guys the charm in a little while um, because if I try to show it on camera, it's just going to not be focused and I'll show it to you. So I'll show it to you after, but it's so pretty. I use this really pretty glittery, glittery floss um, and then I whip stitched it in rainbow. So it came out really good. Um, I made it into a necklace. So I made the necklace part as well. And yeah, I'm really happy with how it came out. Um, I'm sorry I didn't record anything yesterday. Uh, in the morning, I got some bad news. Um, and I found out that my great uncle who lives in South Carolina, um, Joe's just diagnosed with lung cancer. We're pretty sure it's uh, stage four lung cancer. We're trying to find out more information. Um, so yeah, it was just a lot to take in. I haven't seen him since he moved to South Carolina. So it's been easily almost eight years since I've seen him, but we were really close when he lived here. He lived right across the street from my mom and I. So it was a rough day and I was trying to just be positive and really focus on my crafting. So that's why there was no footage, but I wanted to jump on here today um, and just do a little update with all of you guys because I know it's unlike me to not be recording every single day. Um, today, I do know is just gonna be an easy day. I've been up since 6.30 this morning, finishing up the first charm. I gotta make the second necklace. Um, I'll probably start that tonight. Um, and then I was just cleaning up some stuff. So I've kind of been on the go since 6.30 this morning. It is currently, I think, 11. So yeah, I've been pretty busy. I'm feeling tired. It's raining outside, so I am in some pain. Um, but I think it's just going to be a nice, easy day. So there might not be much footage, but I just wanted to jump on here and uh, catch you guys all up and let you know why I haven't recorded since uh, Thursday. <laughs> All right guys, so this is the unicorn necklace that I made, the first unicorn necklace that I made um, for my sister-in-law's fiance sister, for her daughter, um, and then I'm gonna be making a matching one for her daughter's best friend. Um, you can see I whip stitched it with rainbow um, because her daughter loves rainbow. And then I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but all the floss that I used is shimmery and glittery. So it gives off a glittery um, effect. It's really pretty. And then I made, I got this purple cording and I made a necklace into it, which was fun. That's the first time I've ever made an actual necklace. Loki. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show it to you guys because I'm so proud of it. It's so cute. And it's my first, like, Loki. It is my first paid crafting job so i'm just like so excited uh this is a new start and i'm sorry guys loki see something out the window um this is a new start for me and i've always wanted to have a crafting business i just never knew what craft i wanted to do and i have fallen in love with cross stitching and making these little plastic canvas charms is just so much fun for me so yep i just wanted to show you guys that he's using the bubbles so we bought these peanut butter bubbles and we're seeing what Blue thinks of them. Blue, look up. <laughs> what are they, Blue? Oh, oh, oh. Blue, no jumping. You could drop the leash, Ma. Yeah. He's fine. Blue? He sees Dan. Oh, nope, distracted. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, 
You done now, bud? Interest is gone. <laughs> you like it? More, please. More, please. <laughs> They're all going that way. Yes, yeah, enough. No, props. The stick. You silly. Look, you eat your soccer ball. Stick, sit, blue, sit, sit, sit. Oh. Okay, ready? Go get it. Good boy, bring it to me. Oh, oh first. <laughs> I got that. Mm -hmm. He has found the wood pile. Mama! Woo! Woo! Good boy! Luna! What are you doing? Hello guys. So earlier today, I recorded Friday's video for all of you. I'm so excited for you to see this video. Um, it is a little impulse shopping haul video. 
um, but I've bought a lot of interesting stuff this past month and I'm excited to share that all with you. But it is Monday night, so it is time to wrap up this vlog. As you can see, I had a pretty interesting week, um, mainly a lot of training with Blue and of course my health scare, but I wanna hear from you. So let me know in the comments down below what is one interesting thing you did this week or your favorite thing you did this week. I'm always interested to hear how everyone else is doing. If you enjoyed this vlog, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. You can also click the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a brand new video. I post vlogs on Tuesday and content videos every Friday. In the meantime, if you wanna see more of my life, you can check out my Instagram at chronicallykaylee, my TikTok at Chronically Kaylee, or my blog, which is www.lifeiskayleexox.com. All right, until next time, my beautiful darlings, stay strong. Bye!